Hey, what's up, guys? It's Tony Solo here from The Natural Lifestyles. And today, I just want to speak to you guys about masculine leadership. And honing this skill and developing this skill is something that any man in any field of his life is going to benefit from, especially when he's talking to women. So if we have to tailor it back to women, how does the skill of leadership work? I had a video and I was talking about how guys, you know, they want to lead in ways that look very, very formal. And there's the formal leadership ways, they don't have grace to them. So what, what, I, what I would say is, any great leadership way has a level of grace to it. Or it knows when, the skill itself, the guy or the person knows when to not have grace. And to just really be forthright in the way that he wants to lead. I think that masculine leadership the thing that makes it incredibly beneficial for any man is this is what the woman is thriving on when she's around you. She wants your leadership to take her somewhere. That's from when you approach her to when you're in a relationship with her. When I'm talking to a girl on the street, the thing that's really uh, coming across to me is, all right, I know why I'm here and I know where I'm gonna lead this because the intent that I have is the thing that's leading me. So a lot of guys are like, you know what, how do you start to lead? How do you have this leadership ability? And the reason why many men don't have it is just because they don't know why they're there. They don't know why they're in a situation, any situation with a woman. So they're kind of just flailing along and it's not even directed in any kind of way. So something I must tell you guys is leadership in itself, it must have intention behind it for it to be very very effective you're waiting for somebody yes i am uh i saw the stockings you look great thank you you did That's really like the the uh the code like open for one moment and i was like oh she has amazing stockings on thank you <laughs> it is yeah That's really sweet of you. Uh, who are you dressed up for uh, for a girlfriend of mine, it's a big mistake that men, that people tend to think that women dress for men. No, we dress for other women. Oh, really? Yeah. What, to make other women look bad or to... No, to make them totally jealous. Oh, really? We're really mean creatures. So you're trying to, you're trying to make your friend jealous? No, that's, that's, <laughs> that's too harsh to say. That's, that's not true. Um, I've, it's been a while since I've been out and, um, and it's nice to, to dress up for the occasion that I actually go into the free air. <laughs> Oh, you look. Thank you. Yeah. That's really kind of you. Yes. Uh, I know you. You. She's gonna come. Or you're gonna be off on your way. Yes, probably. Yeah. So, uh, are you? Would you say you're artistic? Excuse are me. Are you artistic? Uh, yes, we could say that. And what way? Uh, I write. I don't really do it anymore, but I. Um, I write poems sometimes. About? Uh, about different things, mostly really emotional stuff, love, parent issues, spirituality, things that are worth writing poems about. Well, these are the things that are worth writing for for you? Yes. Ah, exactly. yes, indeed. Hello! Hello! <laughs> Yeah, again, that's my Yeah, 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 again, watching, okay. Uh, hello, um, I'm sorry, hello. I was I was yeah. just saying hello to her and she's like, she's waiting for you, so. Oh. Yeah. Really? Yeah, <laughs> yeah she was waiting for you, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, I know you're going to be on your way. Yes, that's true. Yes, but um, I must tell you that one of my little hidden secrets is that I write poetry as well. Wow, that's great. Yeah, that's one of my little hidden things I don't really tell people, but now I'm okay telling people now. That's great. Are you going to ask for my number? Uh, are you a single woman? Yes. You are. Would you like to go on a date with me? Yes. Definitely. Okay. Uh, what's is it better for you? Is good for you tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow works. Evening, about. Um, rather the afternoon. Afternoon. But the evening works for me too. Okay. Yeah, that that works. And what is your name? I'm Monica. My name is Anthony. Really nice to meet you. Yeah. Uh, the last poem you wrote. What was it about? 
That was about love. Yeah? It's about a weird relationship. A good relationship? Because mm -hmm. I'm super interested in uh, what you do now. Because you said spirituality, love, and these are things that course through me all the time. Mm -hmm. So when you say a good relationship, what is a good relationship to you? A good relationship to me, uh, based on empathy, um, based on a inner connection, even if that sounds really abstract. Um, it means a good chemistry. It means uh, it means lots of talking. I'm a really verbal person. Mm. Um, and making memories together. That's good. Yeah, you have um, you have it really well figured out in many ways. Is that through experience or is that through ideas? Both. Uh, Both. Well, you seem quite intuitive. Thank you. So I, I like it. I as a compliment. Yeah, you're quite intuitive about it. I thought you were going to say this thing and that thing, but you said some things that I would say that are really uh, quite profound. I don't really like profound things. Why not? <clears throat> well, it depends on the context. But the things you said were quite profound, though, to what a relationship oh, oh, is. Oh, yeah, I'm, I have to admit, uh, my English is pretty good. I'm Hungarian, but there are some words that I kind of get the meaning, but not entirely, and then that yeah. leads to some misunderstandings. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, she's, she's I, I know she's waiting. <laughs> okay, uh, is the number best for you? Yeah, I think that's cool. Uh, plus three six, yeah. Yes. Seventy. You can write it. I'm just gonna press this, and I know that it's you. Uh, my my phone right now is not off. Oh. Well, I mean, it's not off. It's not on. But I have to go to Vodafone tomorrow and get a SIM card. Oh. So it's not gonna ring your phone. Oh, anymore. okay. Okay, so I guess, do you have internet on your phone? Yes, I do. Yeah, so would you like to find me on Facebook? Yeah, this that's, works as well. That's, that's maybe. <laughs> Monica? Monica. Like this. Like, With a K. With a K. It's like the, uh, it's the European way. Well, uh, the Hungarian way, but oh, okay. uh, it's a little complicated, I'll tell you about it. What's your last name, Anthony? Uh, Burchett. B E R. B U R. C H E. T T E. Wow, there are quite a few. Which ones are you? <laughs> there are quite a few. Yeah, that's me. Okay, there. thanks. Yes. Well, I'm glad I said hello to you. Yeah, me too. And between us. I know that you are dressing up to look better than your friend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, well, it was lovely meeting you. Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow then. Okay. Okay. I'll see you. For you to be able to develop the leadership skill, you have to know why you are there in, at any time. I wasn't always this way. You know, when I was talking to women growing up, one of the things that I lacked the most was leadership ability. The, the ability to lead her through an experience of some sort. This is the main one that I actually I lacked. But I started to notice that at a very young age, fuck, I can't really lead a woman. I can't really take her through an experience with me just trusting that it's going to be good. Trusting myself through the process. And this is why many guys suck at leadership. It's because they just don't trust themselves, as I didn't. But I started to notice that, okay, when I'm with the girl, if I don't trust myself and I don't at least try to move this somewhere and allow her to just follow my direction, then she's going to always be leaning on her own leadership and she'll never be able to relax in the way that she wants to. So you have to understand that your leadership, your masculine leadership, relaxes a woman. Feminine women are thriving on a man's leadership. His masculine ability to be able to see something, know that he wants to go there and move toward that and bring her along. That ability to do that is really, really attractive to her. And for me, 
I started to know more about leadership when I started to get around men who were really, really good leaders. So if you want to know what is one great way for you to learn leadership, get around people who are actually really good at leading. This is one of the ways I learned, because one of the ways we learn is through observation. When I saw good leadership in front of me, it really gave me the insight into, okay, at this time, I'm not pushing when I need to. At this time, I'm not holding back when I need to. Because remember I said, great leadership has grace to it. So where does it go wrong? It goes wrong when you guys are in front of women and you're constantly just trying to lead things with no purpose. You're just trying to make sure that you lead it. And I'm like, how can you lead something when there's no purpose behind it? You're like, all right, you know what? I know that I have to uh, try to take this woman home. So what I'm gonna do right now is that I'm going to say, hey, let's go here. Then, hey, let's go here. Then, hey, let's go here. You're so fixated on where you have to go that you're not even being attuned to what's happening for the woman. So what I would say for you is, if you want leadership, your leadership to really grow and really be the most profound that it can be, when you're in front of a woman, be attuned to where she is. Understand that you have the ability to say, let's go here, let's do this, but you must do it from a place that's soft and that's gentle to where she is. Sometimes when the girl is really, really uh, powerful and she's really sexy and attractive in the way that she is and she is used to getting her way, then yes. Those times you need to be more forthright. You need to say, let's go here. She's like, nah, I don't want, no, let's go here. Come on, we'll, it'll be fun. And you need to just go. But then there's other times, which I would say majority of the time, where you can just lock in on a woman and fill into, okay, what is it that this woman is needing right now? What kind of a leadership is she needing? And much like I said, being able to calibrate your clarity, when you calibrate the clarity of your leadership to a woman, she really feels taken care of. She really feels soft and gentle and womanly and beautiful when she knows that you're taking care of her through your leadership. So start to see your leadership as a way of taking care of the girl. Not to just take her with you or to just, let's do this, let's do this to get the result. No, see your leadership as this is the thing that's gonna allow me to take care of a woman. Women want to feel, so to speak, safe around you. And a lot of times they can't feel safe unless you trust your own direction and then bring them along with that direction. But as you bring them along, understand that one of the greatest things they're gonna benefit from is you being able to take care of them in the way that they need it in that moment. Some girls, uh, sometimes, even the same woman, she may need soft leadership, or you need to be more graceful, and you need to say, you know what, there's a the place over here, let's go sit down. But you need to be softer in your leadership, meaning the intensity of it. But then there's times where you're with a woman where you need to be a little bit stronger where you need to go, uh, you know what, this place right here, is really, really good, let's go in here. And she's like, uh, I've never really been in there. I'm not really sure if I like the food. They said, all right, well, we'll go check it out. And if we don't like it, we can go somewhere else. Well, you need to be like that. And then there's other times with that same girl where you need to be like, okay, stop talking. You're actually talking too much and you're taking away from the experience. Let's just go here and let's see what it's like. That same woman at times will need different things. So are you willing to relax into the grace of, okay, how is this woman need to be led right now? Does she need to be led like this? Does she need to be led like that? Does she need to be led like this? And this way of being able to just fill into and read with a woman is gonna be able to make her feel like she's taken care of every moment she's with you. <clears throat> and my ability to be able to be a man that can lead a woman like this, I had to hone the skill through me fucking up many times. So understand that you guys will screw up many, many times as you're trying to lead women. When you're trying to just, so to speak, have grace at times, and you're like, fuck man, that time I should have been stronger. Okay, that time I should have been softer because that was too much because I know that she's a softer girl. What she needed, me to be softer in that moment. And as you go down this track of leadership, it becomes incredibly beautiful to you. Because you start to understand that this is one of the gifts that you offer a woman. The gift of your own leadership, the gift of your own direction and where you want to go and allow her to come with you and wanting her to and wanting to take care of her with that leadership that you have. As much as this is her uh, beautiful pleasure to submit to you, she has to understand that when she submits to you, that she, she has to trust you. So her gift to you is submission to your leadership. Your gift to her is being able to lead her into an experience. 
And as these two come together, you have this magical blend. That blend is open to you any moment that you want to take it. And guys, they look at my infield videos and they go, bro, you, uh, you look like this or you look like that. You look like this. And it's because they just have this one dimensional way of leadership. Guys out there, when I look at them, I'm like, man, it's just a one dimensional way. Leadership has all these beautiful avenues that you can go down. It's not just this one way of we are here and we need to go there. Not point A to point B. That style of leadership is a very rigid way. It's a very rigid style of, of, of leader leading a woman. But once you can learn that, okay, my leadership can be soft and can be hard at times, that's when you can start to relax into what does this woman need right now? What kind of leadership does she need? And this will change from woman to woman many times. There are certain women where I was like, where I would say, bro, you, can, you, you actually were too tough in that situation and you need to back off some. And there's other girls where I'm like, you were too fucking soft and she needed you to be as intense as her. And this really comes to my attention when I think about you know, talking to women at night because many times when I'm at night, um, I get a whole range of women um, coming at me. And some of the ways that they give me, I'm like, fuck man, this, this girl right now, a guy doesn't know that he needs to be really hard with her. Right now, this guy doesn't know that he really needs to be soft with her. And I'll fuck this up many times. Even, even the fact that I have the grace and the ability to lead a woman in these, these beautiful, magical ways, I fucked it up still. There's times where I've gone too far just because I was so in the flow and I went too far and I pushed the girl away. There's other times where I was super in flow and I was just like coasting along and I really didn't lead enough. But something I understood through this process is my presence and, and, and how present I am to the woman a lot of times will dictate how far I'll go with her. How far can I lead this woman? And there's sometimes where I'm like, tonight it won't happen. There's sometimes where I'm like, okay, I can take this woman on an instant date right now, but I know that she's in a rush, and if I try to do that right now, I'm pushing up against something that's not gonna happen. And there's other times where a girl's like, oh no, uh, I can't do it right now because I have to go shopping and I know I need to push. What is your style of leadership right now in this moment? How do you go about leading women? Do you find yourself leading women in a way that's just very, very formal and that's very, very um, rigid and linear? Or do you find yourself reading the situation, reading the woman, and leading in the ways where the situation needs? Like I said, one of the ways earlier for you to be able to get greater leadership as well is to be around men who are actually better than you at leadership. That's one of the great ways. So find someone who is much better than you or find someone online who you say, okay, his style of leadership is great because it's not just one dimensional, it has many ways to it. Another way where you can get, become great at leadership is before you go into a situation with a woman, know why you're there. Know why. You can even say to yourself, I know that I'm going to try to take this girl on the instant date. Maybe that's what it is. And you try down that process, but you know where you're going. That is one of the main things about leadership is that you know where you're going. And you're also flexible and adaptable. So when you say, you know what, I'm going to try to take this girl on the instant date, and she goes, I'm in a rush to work, you can't be like, all right, well, I just got to stay on that. No, you have to adapt. So know why you're there. And really allow yourself to sit in and go, okay, yeah, this is why I'm here. And then follow that track. This leadership is not just for taking a woman place to place, this is also leading her through the experience of interaction. When I'm in an interaction and I'm with the girl, I'm knowing that I want to get to know her, fill into, okay, do we actually have something? And lead it in a way where it's moving in a romantic direction. And that's priority right now or secondary later. I know that every single time I walk up to a girl. I know that for sure. But do you guys know that? Do you know why you're there? Are you there to lead her through the experience of opening herself to you while she's around you? Which means sharing about herself. So if you're there to get to know her, you have to have the intention that I want to go meet this woman because I want to get to know her as a woman. Once you have that intention, now you're leading her through the experience. But many of the times you're going in and you're so fucking nervous just because you don't have a clarity of intention of why you're there. 
This makes leadership super, super easy. And I would say a third way, a magical way for you guys to learn how to just lead women is to come on workshop. <laughs> That's the other way because once you come on workshop, we'll be able to help you find what is your way to lead. What is the way for you? Because everybody leads in a very different way. The way I lead is very different than the way James leads. The way Liam leads is very different than the way that I lead. The way uh, Travel Bum leads is very different than the way that I lead. But we all have this thing where we're like, okay, we know right now this is too much. We know right now to pull back. And that graceful leadership, so to speak, is a skill that we want to teach you guys. But we have to teach you to your own way. Because if we try to teach you to be like, uh, if I try to teach you to be like me, James try to teach you to be like him, then you're never going to know what is the most natural to your own way, the fluidity of your body, the way you, you know, want to project something, what's true for you. It's very different from man to man. Some men, they tend to body, embody more of the uh, stillness and the rigidness uh, and the fucking stealthiness to masculinity. Some men like me tend to body, embody more of the grace. So I have to learn more of the fucking hardness. And some of you guys, you embody more of the grace and you need to learn hardness and vice versa. But the main thing with leadership is you got to start with what is my intention in this situation. That's going on a date. That's meeting a woman on the street. Why are you meeting a woman on the street? Why are you there? Why are you meeting her on that date? Why are you there? And lead it in that direction. And as you lead it in that direction and you stay flexible along the way, you start to notice that leadership is not so hard. Now, if you start thinking about in a life way, of course, there's many different things to leadership. But just in the natural way of just leading a woman through an experience, these three things that I just gave you will be amazing. The third one is like the one where I'm like ruling you into us. But the other two are amazing. Finding people who, who can lead better than you that you can learn from <clears throat> and knowing why you're there. These two right here will do wonders for you. This is Tony Solo from The Natural Lifestyle saying, please click the link below. That is your free Meet to Bedroom series. That video series, I've talked about everything from meeting a woman to going to the bedroom, and I just break it down for you. Even the texting. But until the next video, I'm out.